how did I come to Manhattan and I cannot have one that's near as good as what I'm having in downtown Petaluma, which most people <laughs> and oh my god, even what? more funny. No, the bar. So I went to this old Pete's Tavern, which has been there since like 1864. Okay, Pete's Tavern, 1864. An old Irish pub type of place, which I hate. Okay, yeah, yeah, many years. Yes. Um, the bartender. He was talking about, like, where are you from? California. He's like, oh, which part? Northern. He's like, oh, I've only been to California, Northern California once. He starts diving into where he went. And he's like, in Petaluma. Petal-. And I'm like, shut Come on. the fuck up. I'm like. Of all things. Pete's Tavern. Did you just Pete's like, Tavern. Google my podcast and you saw that I'm from Petaluma? Now, was he like, in no. Brooklyn or was he in the in upper. In Manhattan. Up, uh, okay. Yeah. Uptown, yeah. He knew Petaluma. Wow. I was like. I've only oh been to one place in Northern California. And it was Petaluma. I've never been to Petaluma. It was crazy. I was like, uh, I thought for sure he Googled well, he knew, like At least he we knew from. what you were talking about. Yeah. It's, uh, it, it, was funny. it does feel a little fishy, doesn't it? It does, right? But he didn't, yeah, he didn't know. So that was interesting. Um, I did some cool ass shit, Phil, while okay. I was there. And most importantly. So, so you flew in. You took an I airplane. I flew in, direct flight. My, direct flight. Like my trip from here to there was flawless. Oh, I really? got in early. No connections. Nope. It was a direct flight from SFO. How long did it like, take? Dude, really? Do you want all this shit? I, I just six ish uh, hours. Six hours. Okay. I think it's like more like five and a half that way and six back or something like that. But okay. JetBlue. Whenever I travel, see what I sat in? It was like 26E no, or 26E. F or is it Windows. Whenever <laughs> I travel, weird shit happens. So nothing weird happened. Literally, it was flawless Uneventful. from the minute I woke up. Unre- an unremarkable trip. Which is great. Yeah. Um, everything, everything was not only on time, but early. Wow. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Okay. It just set the tone for the whole trip. And then what time did you hit the ground? Was it evening or night or? Yeah. I, it's always I, interesting. I, I always think it's interesting. You're the most fucking boring questions I know, ever. but I'm, I want to know what people do when they first get, get Well, there. I'll tell you what I did. This was What'd great. What'd you do? What's so the first thing you I do? stayed with Catherine, right? Yeah. I took a cab from the airport. Are we calling her KK or can KK, we do that? I call her KK. Hey, we can call her KK. Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's call I her. took a cab. <laughs> I know she's wake her up. I know wake she's up. hanging out with some friends this weekend. I think um, I took a cab and I get to her apartment and she has sit, literally waiting for me. There's a, a glass of wine just oh, poured poured a Patsy's pizza just warmed up broiled in her oven because she's like, text me when you're close by. And I'm like, all right. So I did that. She opened up, she poured me a glass of wine, yep. had Patsy's pizza, which is my favorite freaking pizza in New York. Vodka pie. Is that a thing? The bed in pizza in New York. No, I know that. But Patsy's, so yes. it's, Patsy's, it's a New York style pie, right? Mm-hmm. I guess there's several locations, but this particular location is the only one that makes a vodka pie. Okay. And it's ridiculous. It's so good. Why is it so good? I had all of it, the whole experience. Okay, the crust, show, the, if if they're so freaking good, show note them. All right, well, hashtag ha- Pat, Patsy's Patsy's Pizza. pizza. Uh, she had wine poured pizza. She had my bed turned down. She had candles lit where I was. Like she had like. A, oh my god! It was it was like I felt like <laughs> I had like I was romantic. at the freaking Ritz or something. <laughs> you know. Um, Aw. It was so so good, and she was like that for me. She got up every morning. She likes to sleep in, right? Normally. Yeah. She got up every morning and made me coffee and oatmeal because she knew I had to get on the train early to go up to this event. She was amazing. Like I told her at one point, I'm like, I'm, I may just give up on boys and marry you. Right. Like, you're the best. And you live like 3,000 miles away. So that's the perfect partnership <laughs> because like, you don't have to have somebody <laughs> nagging on you all the time. Not that she would, but you know, did, did, whatever. I can yeah, but that was the beginning of the trip. All week. She wasn't a little naggy maybe by the no, end of the trip. No, never. But that's not her. She's not like that. She didn't She's, get jealous of you spending all this other this time uptown. and. No. Also, I did take her with me on a lot of the trips. And I'm I'm not going to lie, Phil. <laughs> She's the best fucking production assistant. Yay. Ever. So you remember like before I left, I hurt my ankle? No. I, I do. I do. I fell down in the middle it was of the street. Messed up. Yeah. I oh, I forgot. Yeah. And you were worried about about uh loping around yeah yeah well she carried my backpack with all the equipment in it everywhere we went she this sounds helped really me. sweet i know she helped me unload set up the equipment she took pictures she did facebook lives she if i could afford her i would hire her I'll, she wouldn't want to do that because she was being sweet because i'm only there for a week but right she was amazing i, I could not have done all it of sounds it sounds like she might have made the without trip. her she did she always does. She's amazing. So, 
So you get there. Yeah. So your was the event starting the day you got there? I got there or? Monday. The, I did a. I had two interviews scheduled for Tuesday of my podcast. Yeah. Um, and then Wednesday morning is when the event started. So Wednesday and Thursday were uh, the podcast summit. And nice. then Friday I had an interview scheduled. That's when I toured a distillery, which was again. A whiskey distillery, which is super old and famous. How do you always famous. end up in whiskey distilleries? I just I make it happen, dude. Okay. I'm like, I ask. I'm doing something wrong. Will you do this? And they say yes every time. <laughs> um, that was an interview with Cami Kenna. Do you remember when we had Sal and Danny on? Yes. Cami works for Sal. She does a lot of things. But oh, okay. of one of those is social media and that type of thing for Puente International. Oh, nice. So, And she's phenomenal. And she's based um, back there. And she lives in Brooklyn. Nice. And she also consults with this Kings County d- distillery. Um, so I asked her if I could interview her and then I was like, why don't we go to the distillery and give me a tour? We can do tasting. Um, yeah. And so that was great. One thing led to another. Their Manhattan, sorry to say, was not as good as Barberly. Barberly. Hashtag Barberly. Yep. Good. Uh, so yeah. good trip. Ooh. So you were cooking before this event, which was kind of the catalyst for going there, but it turned yeah, out. Yeah, I did it, a lot it of It sounds like, more like that was part of the trip and not the trip because when yeah. you were leaving that was the trip or the plan right yeah. yeah 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 it just things unfolded i made some really great connections here's the best part i have to go back because i there were a few did interviews did you forget your phone <laughs> i did i <laughs> lost my phone in the airport that was really the only hiccup but there's a happy ending to that too i got what? a phone call from the airport today Whoa, how did you get a phone call if you don't have your phone so here's what I did. Okay. I was on the plane. I got the free Wi-Fi and I did a, like I did the lost phone on iCloud. Uh-huh. And then I put in a message. If you get this, call this number, which was here at Keller Street. Okay. They called today. Oh, we found your phone here. No, it gets better. One of my members here is literally flying to JFK tomorrow. No way. And so she's going to pick up the phone for me. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> So even the one little flaw in the whole eight days still turned out to be a happy ending. <laughs> wow. It was a charm it trip. Was ridiculous. Ridiculous. So I'm going back because I have a few new interviews scheduled. There's uh, another project that I may or may not get to be involved in. And, Damn. Um, yeah. You're fucking busy. I know. <laughs> I think this is my new thing. What about the event part? It was crazy. It was so good. The first day, all the workshops. Yeah. Huge takeaways from every speaker, like massive, like brand, as far as my brand. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, And then I integrated them into the interviews the next day. Um, I met some amazing entrepreneurs. You were the guest on a few podcasts. On five different podcasts. Five different podcasts. How was that? And that that was great. I felt like a pro. Well, you are a pro. Honestly, like I was really. um, You're very pro. I felt. But you were comfortable, That Right. I was very comfortable. I felt validated. Like I, I, you know, if there was a doubt in my mind that I didn't know what the fuck I'm doing, I, there's that doubt's gone. That's awesome. Here's another big takeaway. I realized that I'm kind of a rule. I'm, I'm a little bit of a, um, rule, rule breaker. A wool, I know. a wool breaker. Three times twice. Yes. Three times. A rule breaker. Um, like they call those criminals, I'm, by the way, <laughs> I'm going rogue. I keep wondering, like, why why follow the rules? So you and I actually kind of have these conversations because you're always like, you should do it this way. You should do it that way. I'm like, why? Why? Me? If I can find a better way or a more interesting me? way. Yes, you. Okay. I can. Why not try something new? That's okay. why I experimented. I did walkabouts. Like right. we walked around town with the microphone. I interviewed like bartenders <laughs> at the bars with the microphone. We stayed. We like went and camped out in an igloo. And oh, format-wise, I could care less. I just, no, minimal, I just, minimal standards of equipment. Yeah, but even still, it's like, I, you know me, I wing everything. I don't have the bullet points and the questions mapped out about, you know. Oh, I hate that. Because I like to follow the conversation. Long and winding roads, right? Right. So. Are you saying I'm a strict conversationalist or construct? Mm, no, I'm just saying that a lot of, the, like, even when we were building the studio, you're like, you should do it this way. And I'm like, fuck that. Why do you do that? I think you get me mixed up with somebody. No, I don't, but nice try. I'm all about the free flow. Are you though? I am. I'm very, li- I'm very light on structure. <laughs> I mean, I think you, you have Maybe. to have a, a, just enough to get things going. And then after Maybe. that, you you go where you go. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, it was a really great trip. Um, New York loves me. 
Honestly, it really does. Really? And I, I think I'm going to be by coastal. Really? That's yeah. a big step to go by coastal. It, <laughs> by anything. Um, it won't be like summers there and, or su- whatever, like <laughs> seasons. It'll be like me going there once for like for a week or 10 days every six or eight weeks or so. Um, nice. I'm putting that out into the universe right now. All right. Boy, yeah. KK, the, your stay must have really went well. Yeah, she might she might get tired of me staying on her couch all those times. Like at some point, I'm going to have to start generating some revenue so I can pay okay, rent. You know, <laughs> she could go both ways and come out here. Yeah, we talked about that. Um, she wants to do by coastal as well, but you know, her California is San, Santa Barbara, so that doesn't really. Oh. Work. I was going to say because you could do. Somebody was telling me about this too that it's a thing where people rent out their houses mm-hmm. or swap. Right, you could do Housing a house swap. swap. Yeah. Which sounds weird. Have you done this? You know what I'm talking about? No, but she has a friend who is who lives in her building that may I think lives in her building. So it's a thing where you rent people go on vacation and they you they just rent their house to you with their coffee and their silverware and It's like Airbnb, but not. But not, but you know, all their underwear is still in their dresser and Yeah, it's a swap, a housing swap. Well, you say it like have you ever done it? No. But you I know. might. If there's anybody in you Brooklyn leave your, or Manhattan you who wants leave your to come to Petaluma. Kind of at the mercy of whoever. Do you really think those... I mean, you're not going to no. swap with just, no, 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 just no, no, anybody no. you've never talked no, but to there's, or met before. There's, or, there's a random swap kind of style thing. Mm-hmm. And just, that I'm seems like a lot. I'm getting uncomfortable with all this swapping conversation. Like, like, <laughs> and by coastaling. I mean, I'm open-minded, but I'm definitely not into swapping. Um yeah, I guess you could like put away all the things that you're worried about, you know, in a box or something, and yeah, so they don't. Anyway, it's a thing. I, 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 I should shouldn't talk about it unless I know more about it. Well, don't knock it till you try it. That's true. Did you miss me? While That's I was what gone? KK says. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. I mean, the studio was empty. I will say, doing all the mobile podcasting is fun and stuff but this studio god i missed it so much oh really these microphones that sounds so sexy yeah these are good mics these are great mics um setting up i missed that fucking roadcaster oh like, really oh i love it i mean the the h6n yeah. awesome super awesome yeah no they're good but that roadcaster is dreamy like now i have to go back to all of the podcasts that i did while i was gone yeah now i gotta put the music on the front and the back i gotta like well, yeah, that's how the rest of the world lives, man. I know, but we're, I'm spoiled. <laughs> so spoiled. That's good. Anyway, so, yeah. well, and you got to see a lot of other people's kind of setups and mm-hmm. everything else. So you're comfortable with 140 and what you got going here? Yeah. We're doing, we're kicking ass here. Nice. Like I, I, like I said, in so many ways I was validated in like some of the stuff that we're doing and I'm doing as an interviewer or as just a podcaster in general. I think, I think we're on the right track. I'm happy. Super happy. Awesome. Yeah. And I am, I don't know if I should say this out loud because then you guys are going to hold me to it. Yeah. Good. That's called accountability. Yeah. I don't know if I'm ready to be accountable (laughs) for this one. I'm going to tell it anyway. Yeah. There was one speaker. um, This girl was super pro. She's pretty well known in the entertainment industry for a lot of reasons. But now she coaches people, um, public speaking in general, and but... A lot of people that she's coached to do TED Talks and uh-huh. TEDx Talks. Okay. Um, and she talked about, like, how to go through that process. And I was I was sweating just really? listening just to her. To, like, to, I was like, oh, I'm never going to do it. She was TED telling talk. you about the TED Talk process. Like, how to create the talk and how to perfect it. Um, and she happens to be one pers- one of the persons who interviewed me the, fe- the next day. Oh, I was wow. a little in, intimidated because I knew she was like pro pro and really, really buttoned up, which is like anti Danielle, right? Like I'm like, Oh, let's just see how it let's goes. Right. Yeah. And she's like, no, she's super pro and she's got notes and, and intros and all of the stuff. Anyway, um, after the, the interview went great cause she's, as I said, she's a pro. So she even kind of guides you along in the conversation. Um, and we got off air and she was like, you have a story that you need to tell. Like, she's like, you need to tell this story and you need to tell it on a big stage and you're totally ready to do that. And I was like, Oh, wow. 
So now it's in my head a little.